I'm Ty Sandu. I'm Charles. I'm Isabella. I'm 12 years old. I'm 9. I'm 10 years old, and I got to see the Broadway show Amelie. They say times are hard for dreamers, and who knows, maybe they are. People seem stuck or lost at sea. And I might be a dreamer, but it's gotten me this far, and that is far. about Amelie, who has a huge imagination. As a child, Amelie suffers from having parents who don't understand her or what she needs. When she was younger, her dad didn't really connect with her. As an adult, she moves to Paris, but still has an unsteady life. She feels that she understands people at another level by listening and taking in everything around her. She was so happy because she could go anywhere she wanted. Amelie has to figure out what she wants and how she can relate to people until she finds a mysterious box that leads her on a path of doing good deeds. And one good deed may lead her to the one person who actually understands her. Uh, my favorite character was obviously Amelie. She was played by Philippa Sue, which is in itself just amazing. A lot of shows have the younger version of the main character to set up the story. Amelie portrayed as a child by the excellent Savvy Crawford. Older Amelie has it fully separated from her childhood past. She still likes to use her imagination and play pretend, so the younger Amelie follows her around constantly, still having a voice in her head. My favorite character in Amelie was Dufael because he is deep. He is a great character because he helps and urges Amelie to go out into the world and be more social and build relationships. One of my favorite songs in the show Amelie was Halfway. And this song is really about um, older Amelie separating from her childhood. My favorite song in Amelie was Sister's Pickle. In it, she is wondering whether or not to meet someone she's been afraid to face for a long time. My other favorite song was My Best Friend. It's kind of funny because Amelie's best friend was a goldfish because that's all her mother let her have, a goldfish. My favorite song was Where Do We Go From Here? It's just about Nino and Amelie and how they come together and have a happily ever after. It's really beautiful. I think I am because I can dream of really anything. I like to play pretend and I like to imagine people and worlds because I'm an only child like Amelie. So when I'm alone and I have like no one to play with, I have to entertain myself somehow. Occasionally I'll go off into a flight of fancy about being an actor on Broadway and things like shows and auditions. Or maybe going to Disney World or maybe um, becoming famous. And I love writing and when I'm with my friends we're always playing pretend. And that's why I consider myself a dreamer. The moral of Amelie is that helping other people can help you help yourself. Treat others like you would want to be treated. The deepest happiness that can be found is bringing happiness to others. Amelie finds joy and meaning in helping other people, which eventually leads her to being able to help herself. Yes, actually, I find um, Amelie the Musical much more kid-friendly in a sense. Well, not that Amelie the movie wasn't kid-friendly. I think kids nine and up will enjoy the show because it's about finding your adult self. I think kids will love Amelie because of the great music and lyrics and the complex sets. I feel like maybe kids under nine wouldn't be able to follow the plot as easily, but it would be a coming of age story. Whimsical, magical. Dreaming.